Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you all have noticed this, but more and more men are not only opting out of marriage and dating and, you know, just interacting with women on an ongoing, consistent basis, but men are also checking out of fatherhood. Peep the game, you all. More and more men are saying, you know what? I would rather not bring a child into this world if I'm not going to be able to provide that child with not only stability and security, a good life and all of that, but if I'm not going to be able to deliver to that child a mother that is of substance, morals, values, integrity. I'm not doing it. A lot of men are reaching that conclusion. A lot of men are reaching the conclusion of, you know what? It is better not to start families. It is better not to, you know, bring a child into this world if that means that that child is going to suffer, if that means that I'm not going to be able to deliver to that child a healthy, balanced, stable home and upbringing. And with a lot of these females out here just being extremely reckless, extremely careless, and just not even trying to prioritize, you know, bringing a child into the most healthy or stable of environments or situations, men are just checked out and done. You know, I don't know if you all are noticing that, but I am. The more that men are starting to reach the conclusion of a lot of these females are unstable. A lot of these females like dysfunction. A lot of these females are even going as far as prioritizing and seeking out the worst of men, right? These females are out here going out of their way to seek out the worst of men to not only lay down with, but to procreate with, which is another reason why a lot of men are just like, you know what? By default, I'm done with trying to uh, start a family, with trying to bring children into this world. Not only are men starting to see that, you know, these females are, again, unstable mentally, emotionally, financially even. Hell, we can even throw in physically. And that is a reason why a lot of men are checking out as far as, you know, having children. But also the fact that a lot of these females would rather discard of the good quality men of value, moral substance. They would rather pass those type of guys up and go after a guy that is, you know, disrespectful, neglectful, not the best father material. So on both ends, it's just like, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> we're done with having kids. Y'all don't want to get with a stable, wise, intelligent, mature, respectful, productive men. Y'all don't want to get with those guys. Y'all want to purposefully go out and seek the men that you know damn well are at the bottom as far as raising a child properly and procreate with them. So again, on all ends, it's just like, no. Let's take it a step further and go here. And you all, please like the video, share the video and subscribe. Men are also saying hell no to having babies and laying down with you females. Not only because maybe a lot of you all are passing up the good quality men for the low vibrational, poor quality men, but Another level and layer is these stand up men, they are not trying to lay up behind a low budget, low quality male. What do we mean by that? What we mean by that is this, you all. Men have raised their standard as far as the type of women that they are ready and willing to lay down with. So if I see that you are the type of female 
that does not have a problem or an issue with laying down not only raw and uncut, but also procreating with a deadbeat, low vibrational, bottom of the barrel male, why would I take that type of female seriously? Why would I want to penetrate the same female that even the worst of men have been all up in and through? No, no, absolutely not. So men are just being turned off left and right. Not only are you females incapable of properly raising up a child or helping to raise a family, but on top of that, you're not the best judge of character. You're not the type of female that cares about the quality of the man that she lays down with. So no, why would I want to go up behind a guy that I know is in the streets and for the streets himself? And I know that you laid down with him raw. I'm not trying to catch nothing behind you females because y'all want to lay up with dirty dogs and dirty dick dairy. Uh-uh. So again, left and right, to and fro, up and down, men are just being turned off and turned against the idea of having kids. Now, don't get me wrong. There are men out there that, you know, are going overseas or um, finding quality women to start families with here in the States, whatever the case may be. You still have that. But due to the abundance of low vibrational, low quality, poor selection of females to start families with, that's not happening in mass like it used to. You know, it used to be a thing to where you would have a female that maybe was not up to par, but she was still able to, you know, have a baby by this guy that is upstanding, that, you know, is a good man, all of that. She was still able to do that and have another baby by a uh, dirty big Derek. You know, it used to be a thing to where that happens where it's like she has a whole bunch of different baby daddies by low budget men and then high quality, quote unquote, high value men that happened. But now more and more men are like, you know what? I'm not going to add on to this dysfunction. I'm not going to add on to um, the destruction of our families and our communities by laying down with females that clearly and obviously don't give a damn about properly raising children that obviously and, and clearly don't give a damn about being wise and highly selective about the men that she lays down with and the men that she brings around the children. Let's go there for a second. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's go there. Men are like, oh, hell no. I refuse to impregnate this female and have her, you know, not only possibly take my children away from me, use my children as a check and to come up. But what about the type of individuals or the type of characters that this woman could potentially and possibly bring around those children? No, I want my children um, exposed to better environments, situations, people, mothers, This is why we're starting to see an influx of men checking out as far as having babies. Men are done adding on to the baby mama culture. And I salute you, men. I really do. I salute the brothers out there. They're like, you know what? If I want to put an end to this, I'll put my penis up. Okay. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. If I want to put a stop to these females being able to use these children as checks, if I want to put a stop to, you know, these children being brought up in the worst of environments, if I want to put a stop to um, females trying to take advantage of me and use me up, how about I just not play the game? How about I just not sleep with them, not lay down with them, not entertain them. I'm going to share my screen with you all. And I want to use this as a prime example, okay, as to why a lot of men 
are done sleeping with you females. They're done having babies with you females. They're done having relationships and taking any of you females seriously. It is due to females like this and the promotion of females like this that I'm getting ready to share with you all that is encouraging and inspiring a lot of men to check out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Having NBA young boys, 11 kids. Oh, Lord. You 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 would want to share the eleven other women. I mean, ten other women. Eleventh or twelfth? I don't know what number that nigga on now. That's it's the, it's the twelfth. It's, it's the twelfth. It's the twelfth. Okay. Was it the twelfth baby mama? No, I think it's the twelfth kid. Kid, yeah, but he has yeah. eleven baby moms. I'm gonna be the twelfth kid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did y'all hear that? She said that she would purposefully have a child with a guy that already has 11 or 12 other children, 11 or 12 other baby mamas. Why would you as a mother want to add on to the confusion, the dysfunction, the chaotic lifestyle of bringing a child into an equation to where the father is already being pulled in a million different directions. You are essentially asking to be a single baby mama. You are essentially asking for your child to be neglected. Again, this is why a lot of men, notice that I'm saying men, okay? Please notice that I am saying men. I'm not talking about little boys. I'm not talking about ninjas. I'm not talking about males. I'm talking about real men. More and more men are done because look at this. Why would I want to procreate with a female that has no problem providing the worst of circumstances for a child? And let's not get it twisted. There are more females like a sexy red than there are an upstanding, um, mature, grown, valuable woman. There are more sexy reds. And I hate that because what that is essentially doing is turning more and more men off and away and contributing to more and more men flying off and away. But let's continue. One time, my friend was at my house and she was in there with her nigga in the living room and I told him, do not fuck on my couch. Her nigga knew my nigga, but he, my nigga couldn't come at the time because they was friends. You know how two friends be he talking to He couldn't come like on some like, like couldn't. He probably was fucking off. Couldn't get up. No, he couldn't, he couldn't come over my house. And then it was a, a condom in my trash can. And he told on me and said that I was the one fucking, but it was not my condom. My nigga called me the next day and was like, you had a condom in your trash can and stuff. I'm like, that wasn't my condom. I, like, I don't use condoms, baby. Right. I'm the raw dog queen. <laughs> Let's pause. Again, this is why a lot of men are done having kids. Not only are we done having kids, but a lot of these men are done even penetrating you females. Condom or not. Did y'all hear what she said? She said, I don't even use condoms. I'm the raw dog queen. Men are also trying to protect them, their health from these females. A lot of you females don't wrap up, don't strap up, and getting clapped up, if you know what I mean, okay? You know, they can go both ways. You know, you can get the, the cheese clap and then you get the damn clap. But nonetheless, <laughs> Lord, this is why men are done having kids. In order for me to have a child with a female, that means that I would have to enter into her raw, correct? So if a lot of females are out here raw dogging, dirty Derek, um, I guess I'm not going to have a child because I refuse to go up into that type of female raw. No telling what kind of STDs she has or has had, you know? 
And I'm telling her what type of just low frequency energy is on her from all of these different dudes entering into her body. Like, no, men all the way around are checking out for reasons like this as well. Not only are y'all piss poor quality women to have a baby by, poor quality mothers, but y'all also are nasty. Nasty. Disgusting. No telling what I can catch if I put this Johnson into you. No telling what type of defects my child could have. If I put my seed into you. So no, all the way around, it's a no for me, dog. Okay? The raw dog is a no for me, dog. Lord, let's continue. I want you all to look at this. And again, that was sexy red. You know, she had no makeup on or nothing. You know, so she looked a little different, a lot different, you know. But that was still sexy red, right? I want y'all to look at this. She's in the car. We're going to turn the music off. She's in the car doing this in front of her child. Look. Look. Hold on. Let's pause it. She's in the car doing this in front of her child. So again, that's another reason. Why men are done having kids. Again, emphasis on men. I refuse to have my child subjected to this type of ratchetry. Okay? This type of 304 behavior. This is trash. So, I don't know if it's a little boy or a little girl. But nonetheless, like, I don't want my son exposed to this thinking that this is okay for a female to conduct herself like this. And I don't want my daughter thinking that this is what a woman is supposed to do and be. Again, another reason why men are done having kids by y'all. It's too many damn quote unquote sexy reds. Do y'all know how many men are out there like I am done? With, with relationships, I am done with family building and all of that. A lot. And it's because of ish like this. Oh, well, you know, it's my baby. At any given point in time, a woman can switch up and say, you know what? I'm going to raise my baby by myself. I'm going to use this baby as a come up in a check. You can't see your child. You can't be a part of your child's life. Again, why men are done having kids. I won't give you a child. Why? How? Well, why is obvious. But how? I'll put it up. I won't entertain you. And if you all peep game notice this as well, a lot more women are becoming extremely desperate when it comes to having a baby and trapping a man with a, with a child. Uh, the more money that you have, oh, I got to get that. But see, this is why a lot of these laws are also changing. So we don't know what y'all hoes going to do moving forward. This is bad. Okay. This is bad for women that men are checking out like this because what it does is it also uh, prevents us from being able to have our families and raise our children in healthy, balanced, stable households. Because the men that we really want, need, and desire are checked out. And that's a disservice to everybody. 
it is in our nature as women, even the most ratchet of us, to, you know, start families, have babies, pass down our DNA and all of that. I feel like that's innate within all humans. So to have this happening in abundance like it is, and having so many men saying, you know what, the hell with this, I'm going to um, focus on myself. I'm going to go overseas. Uh, I'm going to get a surrogate. You know, with so many men just checking all the way out when it comes to family building and settling down, like this is just bad for women because we need men. I don't care what y'all say, what y'all talking about. We need men. Okay. It is in our nature to have families, to have men, to share our lives. It's in our nature. We're not able to protect the way that men are able to protect. We're not able to lead the way men are able to lead. We're not able to provide the way men are able to provide. So yes, ladies, we need these men. And for these men to be checked out in all of these different factors and elements, levels and layers, that's a problem for you, sis. Let me ask y'all a question before we wrap this up. <laughs> All right. I know I got a lot of my brothers in the building right now. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the man directly. Place a one in the chat. If you feel like having a child in today's climate is bad. Okay. Place a two in the chat. If it's like, no, it's not that bad. You know, I still want to have a family. Okay. Place a one in the chat. If it's like, you know what? Mm. I don't think that I am going to start a family in today's climate. It is too far gone. Place a two in the chat if you feel like it's still hope. Like, yeah, I, I still want to have my family, even though it's a lot of craziness going on. I want. I would like to know that. You know, I really would. Um, now, hopefully, there is hope for you females that men really do feel like, you know what? You know, there's still a chance, but I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like a lot of men will be checked out and done. I won't be surprised if, you know, a lot of the men are like, yeah, I'm not doing it. We're going to let them put their numbers. Okay. But yeah, ladies, we got to clean this up. We cannot afford to idolize and prioritize and try to pattern ourselves after females like sexy red. All right. Men are just not having that. Men are not going to allow you females to bring their children into these environments to where they're surrounded by a bunch of neglect, uh, a lot of dysfunction, instability. No. Low vibrational males that you like to be entertained by. No. But yeah, until we get our ass together, a lot of men will be checked out and done. And, you know, rightfully so. But I thought I would come on here and share with you all, you know, what I've been noticing. I've been noticing a lot of men are like, you know what, Danica? Uh, I don't think I'm going to have kids. I don't think that I'm going to settle down. I don't think that I'll ever have a family because, I mean, the women today. Now, again, not all women, but a good chunk of women today. Oh, I don't know. But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I just thought I'd come on here real briefly and quickly and share my findings. All right. But again, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and I'm going to see you all in our next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.